Dyson, um, except DIY. So yeah, um, some time ago, um, my partner and I were talking and we didn't want to deploy the large vacuum cleaner because it, it had a cord and it was very annoying to deploy. And so the room kept getting dirtier and we decided that we wanted a cordless vacuum. Um, but cordless vacuums are expensive. So um, we, we looked for something we could 3D print. And there's this Hackaday page called, about the Dyson, an open source cycling vacuum cleaner. So um, this is how it looks. Um, more or less. Yeah, um, there is a V1 and a V2. Um, at the time that we started planning it, uh, there was only V1 available. Um, but we procrastinated until V2 came out and we completed V1 anyway. So the Dyson more or less looks like this. And it's made from RC parts. Um, can people see the camera? You see this? No. Ah, yes. Yeah, um, we can see it. All right. So it looks like this. It has an RC battery, right? One of these things. And uh, for whatever reason, the person who designed this decided that it would be good, a good idea to use a battery as a handle. Uh, yeah. And so 6060 connector, and then it goes to this. Um, this ESC over here, uh, which controls the motor. And this is an EDF, yeah, an electric ducted fan. Yeah. Um, inside, there is a servo controller, which is uh, in one of my tabs somewhere here. Okay, I can actually click on my tabs. Um, right. So, this is the ducted fan. Um, this is the ESC. This is the battery. This is the exploded. I mean, the you know how it's supposed to go together. And this is a project planner um, that my partner did. Um, so yeah, price comes down to about 100, 123 bucks. <coughs> and here is my photo album of stuff. Um, which hopefully you can see better. Um, so yeah, it looks like that. And over here, I think we have a video. Right. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can't hear, right? But it is really, really loud. But yeah, it works. And here's another shot. Hmm. Yeah, uh, that's about it. Um, I have some. I have some, well, this is, um, these are the models that I printed. And this is sort of how they all fit onto the plate together. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, it is quite a janky thing. Um, I didn't have the right screws for it. Um, yeah, this, this thing demanded for self-tapping screws, but I only had metric screws and some weird assortment of self-tapping screws that some fit and some fit in. So um, it was kind of like clutched together with mismatched screws and duct tape and hot glue, uh, but it works, yeah. So any questions? So the, ba the battery is 12 volt, is it, something like that? Um, no, the battery is 
It's a 2S battery, so it's two lithium ion cells in parallel, I mean in series, uh, 7.4 volts and 4,000 milliamp hours. Okay. How much yeah, does your, uh, stand so, sorry? How much does your, how much does you, how much you spend for the whole thing? Uh, 123 bucks. Okay, uh, do you have a internal, like the Dyson vacuum entry has like a uh, filter, have multiple layers of filter in it. So do you have like any sort of filter in there? Oh yeah, uh, there is a filter. Hang on, I'm just going to pop it open. It is kind of disgusting. But yes, there is a filter. The it's, or... it's, a, it's a paper cup. Uh, I got it off AliExpress. It's um, some, I forgot what it was. I think it was uh, an aircon filter. Oh, okay. But it works. Yeah. Uh, have you considered using a centrifugal fan instead of the exo fan that you are using? Because if if you have higher pressure, if you can do it with a much uh, better pressure suction, then maybe you can run it slightly uh, lower RPM, maybe softer. Uh, yes, that is true. That is absolutely true. And I would have done it that way if I designed it, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, overall, you know, it was designed by someone else and all I did was 3D print and like assemble the thing. So technically oh. you could make like a conversion kit for people who have like spoiled vacuum cleaners and can reuse their long uh, floor, like the, the floor suction head, right? Oh yeah, that would be good, yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's already centrifugal because the inlet is it is, um, it is a cyclone. Yes, it is a sort of a cyclone. It, it is a cyclone mechanism, right? So it's the cyclonic dust collector type thing. Um, but the fan itself is not a centrifugal fan. This is an axial fan. Yeah. Uh, the centrifugal fan that uh, I don't know who was talking about is the... You know the squirrel cage fans, the the kinds the kinds that are in laptops that blow out the side, they suck in the center and blow out the side. Oh, okay, okay, got cool. it. Yeah. Cool. We have a couple of questions in the chat. Someone is asking, "What's the running time until you have to charge the battery?" And someone is asking, "Do you actually use it for chores?" Uh, yes, I do use it for chores. Um. As for runtime, I'm not sure actually because it, it hasn't, this is the first charge and we've used it a couple of times already. It's been a couple of weeks since we assembled it and yeah, it's still running strong. Um, also, well, while we do use it for chores, uh, some time ago, after, you know, before we assembled this thing, AliExpress went on sale. Um, and I bought one of these floor vacuums for I think 40 bucks. Yeah, turns out that this is a much better purchase. Do we have any more questions? Can we see the cost breakdown again? Cost breakdown. Um, you yes. showed a spreadsheet. Yeah, yeah, that one. So where's the, what are the cost of the items? Um, okay, oh, charger, let's see. okay. Char charger and battery are two thirds of it, half of it. Yes, yes. The charger was, the charger is actually quite a nice one. Um, there it is. Um, yeah, it is a very nice charger. So that's pretty amazing. I'm just sort of looking at how you could get $123 down to 40. You would need to have a much cheaper charger, a much cheaper battery, and a much cheaper fan. That's, that's yeah. pretty amazing. Um, honestly, I think the fan was um, quite a decent one. Um, okay, actually, this price might not be accurate. This price is more like it. It's yeah, three bucks. Yeah, I didn't manage to get the exact same fan. Hobby King was out of stock. 
Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have any more questions? Okay, if not, let us move on to our next speaker. Kingming will be talking about radar systems and aircraft.